This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today you will consider this as your vitamin or supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom and leave a rating and a brief written review? You can find Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom wherever you find podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, TuneIn, and nearly everywhere. And again, if you'd pass the word on to your friends, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Today, I want to talk about leadership alignment. Are you aligned? Is your team aligned? Is your family aligned? In wherever capacity and wherever you are leading, do you know what you're doing and is everyone working in the same direction? You have no doubt heard the quote that if you're the leader, if you're leading and they, whoever they are, that would be the people supposedly following you, if they're not following you, you have a problem. Now, oftentimes leaders try to pass off all of their problems as being problems of the follower. Periodically, leaders, we need to take a a time out and ask ourselves, if I believe that I'm leading and no one's following, there has to be a problem. And I want to identify today that I believe the problem may in fact be leadership alignment. You're going one direction, Someone else in your family, your organization is going another direction. Others are following some other direction. And it makes for a lot of activity, a lot of noise, a lot of whirl. But at the end of the day, not much is really accomplished. And that is the question you need to really ask yourself. Is our organization, is it aligned? Do we all know what we're doing, what we're all about? what a win looks like? Are we all making decisions based on what we say we believe in, we value, our mission, and our goals? Well, how do you get mission alignment? Well, very first thing is you have to start with why. Why are we doing what we do? Why are we here? What is our mission? What is it that we are actually, in fact, trying to accomplish? You know, Simon Sinek has the book, Why. you you got to know your why. You have to know your why. Why do you do what you do? Because there will be times where it is easy to drift. It's easy to drift off message. It's easy to let minor things become the determining and driving factors. And we lose sight of, of what it is we are exactly doing. I, I think that leads to the next thing. Does everyone in your organization, does everyone on your team and wherever that team is and whatever kind of a team is, is up to you. Do you all have a shared vision? Uh, the leader may think they have communicated the vision. You may have printed it up on neat little cards. You may put it in posters on the wall or frame it and put it in the hallways where everyone can see it. One of the interesting things is when I'm in a board meeting and I ask people, what is the mission or vision? If they tell me they have to go to the office and get the paper that it's written on, I know that it may be written, but it's not written on their hearts. And if it never gets written on anyone's hearts, it never gets implemented. It never gets done. It never, ever happens. As a matter of fact, you can just pretty well be determined in that kind of an organization. There is no such thing as a shared vision. Everyone does what seems right in their mind and heart. And here, here's what we mean by alignment. You know, your car runs smoothly and requires much less energy to go faster and farther when the wheels are in alignment. And when you hit a hole or a rough spot and you knock your car out of alignment, you can go for a while, but eventually it is doing damage to the automobile and the automobile does not run effectively, efficiently, and will begin to break down over time. That's the same thing that happens if we don't have a shared vision. We get out of alignment. Everyone's trying to drive in a different direction 
you're not going anywhere, you're not getting anywhere, and things are beginning to break down. Oftentimes we think it's because we have dumb people or the people are sabotaging us, when oftentimes the problem points back to the leader and the fact that we haven't gotten everyone aligned with the value, the mission, the purpose, and the why of our organization. So this is very crucial. So to have alignment, one of the things that you have to do when you know your why and you are having a shared vision is, have you ever asked yourself, what is victory going to look like? How will we know when we have gotten to where we say we're headed? What will it look like? How will we celebrate? How will we know? Will we continue to create new visions and missions along the way? But you can be so, so set on the, the strategy, and the strategy is important. And I would say that strategy alignment comes before execution alignment, meaning you have to have a strategy, you have to know what it is that you are about, and then you execute off of that plan. But maybe when you meet with your team, one of the questions you may ask is, here's where we say we're headed, here's what we say we are about, here's what we say we are trying to accomplish, how will we know when we make it to that place? I think the other thing is everything in your organization, if you say this is our vision, this is the direction we're going, this is who we are, this is what we're about, then everything must pass through that vision slash mission. I mean all of the ideas in the organization, where do they fit in, how do they help further the vision and the mission. Perhaps because I've worked in my adult life in not-for-profits, you can have the most wonderful vision and mission statement, but if your budget is not in alignment, it doesn't matter what you have written on cards or papers or framed hanging on the walls or how many times you stand and by rote repeat it. The budget's going to win. And I've, I've met groups that say, this is our vision, here's what it is, and they've not allocated any resources to execute that. And so it's whoever controls the budget controls the mission and the vision of the organization. And you will have, you will get out of alignment if your budget is its own separate thing that never gets run through the mission or the vision or the strategy of who, in fact, you are trying to be. Everything must pass through the vision of the mission or you will be out of alignment. I've talked about ideas, the budget. If you're in an organization that's producing programs, then you have to ask yourself, how does this program help us accomplish our mission? Um, if you're an organization that's putting together uh, projects, you need to ask yourself from the very beginning and all the way through, how does this project further the vision? How does this help us to align with the mission of who we say we are. Now I realize that on a podcast I can make all of these statements and they sound wonderful and nearly every one of you are in agreement with them. But I understand to go back to your organization and have the hard, they're not just hard, they are exceedingly difficult conversations to have, but either you're going to have a mission statement or you're going to have a mission. Now I believe you can have both, but most folks are settling for cliches, and little pithy statements that sound really cute, but some other part of the organization has hijacked the entire organization. And I can usually tell you by looking five minutes at someone's budget what the mission and the vision of that organization truly is. Unfortunately for many not-for-profits, staying alive is the only vision and mission and, and keeping ourselves afloat. And we may say our mission's to do this and that, and it sounds grandiose, but it can be hijacked by a person who keeps producing programs that no one's asking for, and no one's asking the crucial question, how does this further our mission? If you will get out of alignment, and most organizations that are out of alignment do not force every area of their organization to pass through a vision or a mission statement, and this really leads me to the next one, which is accountability. Uh, usually when we talk about accountability, we're talking about being accountable to a hierarchy. Uh, the boss, the semi-boss, the almost boss, uh, the people that we answer to. 
I, I, when I'm talking about accountability here, I'm meaning accountability to the mission. Somewhere in every organization, a mission was hammered out, however it was done in your entity. Everyone, supposedly, all of the stakeholders had buy-in and agreed to it. Then who holds us accountable? Who holds the budget accountable? Who holds the programming? Who holds the personnel accountable to the mission? You will not have alignment if you are a low accountability organization, it is absolutely impossible. I think one of the uh, the chief ones is the fact that far too many times in our organizations, there's no real follow through. We start with a bang. We start with all of these ideas we have. We start with what we think we need to do. And no one follows up. And unfortunately, no one follows through. It just sort of like everyone is sort of on their own and every too many times we're like a uh, separate silos where this little p department operates almost independently of anything else in the organization there's never any questions of mission fit alignment of what we say we're doing and how we are supposed to be doing it it's everybody's building their own little separate kingdoms over here uh, in their silos well someone and it's usually the leader has to follow through and keep everyone on task following, keeping, doing the mission. There needs to be checkups along the way. You can't start from the, the, the step of here's our mission and then here's completion. An airplane all along the way has course corrections. If there aren't little course corrections along the way, you could end up a long way from where you ever, ever intended being. And that's the same thing with your organization. Uh, your problem isn't that you, that you don't have a worthy mission or goal. The problem is, is everything running through that filter? Is everything helping to lead toward that? And is there ever any time of evaluating Here's where we are. Here's what's happening. Here's what's working really, really well. How can we streamline that? Here's what's working moderately well. What improvements do we need to make? Here's what's not working at all. Do we need to discount it? Throw it away? Move another direction? Reallocate assets to things that are moving us toward our vision and mission? And here's what I've discovered. Whatever gets started in your organization, someone will become its hero and someone will become its advocate. And so we get around the table and people are advocating for things because they feel strongly about it for whatever reasons, oftentimes nice and good reasons. But we sacrifice all of that and we, we sacrifice the mission for all of that trying to keep peace. Why don't you try to be the leader and move the organization into the direction that you said you value, the things that you say that you really believe in. You must do this or your organization will quickly get out of alignment and there'll come a time where if a car continues to drive mile after mile, day after day, month after month out of alignment, it will end up in a ditch or on the side of the road broken down. And I'm afraid that's what's happening in our organizations who don't stop and get themselves aligned with the values and the mission that they agreed to. You're listening to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust you'll consider this like a vitamin and a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you subscribe to podcasts, would you please sub uh, subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, leave a rating and a brief written review. I'm looking for that next generation of leader that I can come alongside and see if there's some way that I can be of assistance to you. Just go to drronblake.com forward slash call, drronblake forward slash call. You'll get on my calendar and I, yes, I, I'll give you a call. Now, I want you to remember today, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day. Thank you.